Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We greet you in the everlasting and adorable name of Jesus our Christ and our Lord and we thank him for the abundance of grace that he has provided and for the ability to walk through what seemingly is difficult positions, terrain, circumstances, or uh, walk through um, a malaise of ups and downs, uh, I've been here before, or, or the biggie, why do I have to be uh, dealing with this? That's, that's the core area of our consideration, contemplation, and meditation this morning devotionally. It is over there in John chapter three, no, John chapter six. This is how John defines uh, dealing with this malaise. Uh, he says, our fathers ate the manna, M-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, ate the manna, they ate it, they ate the manna, they ate it in the wilderness. As it is written, he gave them bread out of heaven. So there is uh, an equation here, manna and bread, <laughs> manna and bread. He gave them bread out of heaven. Not from notice, not from a um, recognized um, uh, bread producer, but he gave them bread out of heaven. So God had to be the maitre d. He had to be the one servicing um, those eaters, those consumers. Uh, right there in the wilderness. Uh, Jesus therefore said to them, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am the bread of life. So today, uh, the Lord is our bread. And whatever we have to deal with or the consequential uh, statement that verifies uh, we've been here before or here we go again. Um, we're eating from this table, this plate, this servicing by the one who made the day. So the nourishment of this day comes from the hand of the one who has made the day and knows what is going to take for us uh, to master the day and to look back on this day and see what we learned. Uh, most of all, how the Lord provided, how the Lord has made sure that um, where you're on your way to, you need what I am providing you. I've been where you're going. I am where you're going. I'm preparing where you are going. He prepares a table before us in the presence of the enemies that are found in our wilderness. Uh, some of us may think that we have been through Tuesdays before. Well, there are some manna for today. I believe that um, you should be aware of. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us and lead us not 
into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the glory forever and ever, forever and ever. Amen, 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 and amen. His daily provisions for our every need comes from Him. Daily provisions. He knows better than you or I know about what it takes to please me. So I will rest within the joy of His supreme supply and know that uh, he has prepared just what I need. That psalmist, uh, he provides for me. Yea, though I walk through the valley and shadow even of death. Uh, yes, even when I make this turn here and that turn there, the turns that I make have been encouraged by the one who has supplied what I need to make it in the curve, make it out of the curve, make it through the curve. He, he, he's the Lord that allows us not to run off the road while we're in the curve, but has given us management skills to handle what the curve is made of. So. Here's part of our meditation additionally. Have you ever made the statement of frustration? Why do I have to be bothered with this stuff? Why do I have to be bothered with this stuff? Well, widely received the definition of manna, M-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, what the Lord fed his children while in the wilderness. What he fed them was called manna uh, in the Old Testament. Uh, matter of fact, Exodus chapter uh, 36, verse 4, uh, call it stuff, the manna, dealing with this stuff. And, and, and when you when you say, why do I have to be dealing with this stuff? You're talking about your food. <laughs> You're talking about what um, enables you to go through that day or what constitute this day. You don't know what you have to be dealing with. And if you make that inquiry to yourself, to others around you, why do I have to be dealing with this stuff? You're really talking about what the Lord supplied his children while in the wilderness, Exodus, while they were entering one area and coming out of it with another, another picture uh, of the hand of the Lord leading, guiding, and directing them. What is this stuff? The stuff of daily living at times robs us from our daily quality time, our bonding initiatives, and our times of just sitting down being family. So there's a quality in the stuff that we wonder sometimes, why do I have to be dealing with it? Uh, negative uh, describes what may be part of the wilderness that others are going through that are in our families. You know, God must surely have loved families because he put every last one of us in one. He put every last one of us in a family. 
he put us in what <laughs> is making us identify with those who are uh, members of our families. We got mamas, we have daddies. And if there are offsprings, if you're not the only child, you have either a brother or some brothers. You either have a sister or some sisters and consequently some cousins. Uh, <laughs> you, you're not in this journey by yourself. It describes what may be part of family life. Our text speaks of something positive being given by God to his children while in the wilderness. Exodus 16 verses 4 through 36. Stuff. They had to deal with eating or consuming stuff. Stuff was the blessing. Stuff was the blessing. Giving by or given by God daily for their daily needs. Give us this day our <laughs> daily bread, daily bread. And you at times wonder, why do I have to put up with him? Why, why do I have to listen to her? Why, why, why is she around? Your life is a composite of the stories that you help make, you help create. Your name is mentioned. Uh, your fragrance is noted. Your, your contribution is not questioned, but uh, you're looked at in a way that is favored. You, got, you have some friends. You 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 have <laughs> you have some you you have some that make the setting complete because you were there, they are there, and there is a we. There is a we. There, uh, are you going with us? There is a um, a, a concert. There is a union. That there, that there are spec, there are persons you expect to see. There are expectations that, that you've created because you're part of a crowd. You, you're part of some initiators. You're part of those who are in company with those who are traveling your way. He fed them with stuff, kept them alive with stuff, and and stuff punctuated their gathering. The stuff God gives is for our good. It is manna. It is wilderness food. And while we think we are not in a wilderness because we're dwelling in the 21st century setting uh, manner. The stuff that we have to deal with in our setting is a compliment while we're on it. It's no delicacy that can really suffice. No, no, nothing we can pick up. Uh, <laughs> that uh, is germane to the genesis of today's journey. Um, the, the generation of communication, the memories that are going to be part of the, um, the overview of, did you see what she had on? Did you hear what he said? Did you see how close that call was, that, that traffic light? And we, 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 
we have a way of putting it on something or somebody else. If some close call, some germane or not germane to our setting is an obvious notation in our geography and how we passed through this time to get to where we are and the the memory how we meditate upon where we've been so next time you ask why do I have to be bothered with it with this I think you better check out who sent it to you <laughs> How, how, how did what you uh, are questioning, why do I have, why, check out who sent it, what it means. So what are you going to take from this today? Our fathers, eight, so it's generational. Um, you, you, you're not the only one that had to be dealing with stuff. Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, in the wild derness. It wasn't everything that was modern. Everything was not um, as you like it, as you wanted it, as, as you feel um, test free. <laughs> you passed it. You, you passed the test when you, when you dealt with the stuff. You ate it. You didn't cuss it out. <laughs> you didn't flush it out. You lived it out. We are composites of the stuff that helped make us. Father along, we'll know all about it. Father along, we'll understand why. Father along is an old song, y'all. We'll understand it better. <laughs> by and by, the past, the present, and the future. Manna, M-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Why do I have to be dealing with this stuff? Stuff has made you who you are. <laughs> yeah, man, educationally, I mean the class, the whole dynamics of being in a class and Dealing with subjects you don't even see the purpose of or the measure of have helped develop who you are to this point. So there's going to be something else that comes that you're wondering why. Well, you're being fed. You got through yesterday. I, I guarantee you, you're going to get through today. And then you will have some memories or some reflections as to how I made it over, got through it, got here. Jesus sat down with his disciples one evening and he raised that question. One of you are going to betray me. <laughs> and, and, and the guys around the table was so, um, because, you know, he's omnipotent. He, uh, he, he, oh, I put it this way. He's omniscient. He knows all things. So, so they had to go back to him and say, Lord, is it I? Am I going to be the one that is so stuff-minded? I'm going to let the stuff snuff out what you're sending me. Uh, that I, I should not miss. So while I'm so preoccupied with the me of me in that me moment that I'm going, I'm going to go through, I, I just want you to give me what I need to be mindful and not mindless of what this moment means. He said, this is my body, which 
has been broken for you. Get a piece of him right now. Get, get a piece of him. You may not have this wafer that I have, but a piece of bread, a cracker, get it. It images his body. It's part of the stuff. <laughs> part of the stuff we, we, we must include in our journey for today. Mm. Part of the journey maker, the journey taker, the journey enabler. So everywhere I must go in the midst of this pandemic, I equate this bread as being like the pipes I used to help insulate as we ran the duck for air to flow, cool air to flow in summertime or the warm air to, to flow through in winter. Why do I have to be dealing with this? Of course, you do want to stay cool in the summertime, don't you? And now we're in this balmy period where we are coming out of summer, moving into fall, stuff, dealing with that stuff. What do I wear? I got on a little sweater over a shirt without sleeves. <laughs> on my way to the doctor's office this morning. What do you have to deal with? What's your schedule so far? But you know, you're dressed for. But not only that, um, what's going to help create consciousness maker and not a consciousness breaker he also gave them a cup and he said this cup is the new testament in my blood it's it's preparing me for what's new what i'm going to experience from one hour well one second to the next one minute to the next one half hour <laughs> Right into the next, one hour to the next. Here, 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 here is this blood, this blood. And I drink it and swallow it because there's a highway system that's internal that aids and assists me in the highway systems externally. What stoplights are you going to have to be required to stop for? What, what caution are you going to have to? Or how cautious should you be today in a routine route that you may be unprepared for? Because it's routine and you, you, you may not um, observe some things that you should. Be mindful. This blood is released over the highway of our internal life. It helps us to be quick when we need to be quick. The batting of an eye is consciously referred to now because we take it so commonplace until we're not able to bat that eye, that yawn. <laughs> uh, don't be flabbergasted. Be, gas, be glad you can take some gas in <laughs> and not just let it all out. <laughs> uh, that I, everywhere you have veins, everywhere you have arteries in your body, season it because it aids and assists us in getting through the parameters of the pandemic. Father, we thank you for this day, this hour. We've been made to become more mindful as to what you've placed before us. For the joy of life and living, we thank you for this opportunity to inhale and exhale these circumstances and to come through them with a memory, with a mindful memory that you could see farther down the road than I could. You've enabled me to arrive at this point. Guide me now, 
O thou, my great Jehovah, as I pilgrim through this barren land, we are weak, but thine art mighty, hold me in your powerful hand. Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written, he gave them bread out of heaven to eat. Jesus therefore said to them, I am bread of life. So let his I amness overwhelm who you are and watch you get to a plateau as well as the ending, the closure of this day with a better reflection as to who got you there. Have a great day my brother. Have a great day my sister. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. I trust that